Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, and I'm so excited to talk about my 10 favorite Montessori inspired books. All right, so before I dive into it, I just wanted to let you know the qualifications I look for when I'm looking for a Montessori aligned book. Really, there's just two main things I am looking for, and the very first is that it is based in reality. So I want a book that's going to be able to show my kids like everyday life and be able to show them other people from all over the world and be able to just like be a reality-based book. Um, I also read books that are not Montessori aligned, by the way, but for this video, I just wanted to talk about Montessori books. The second qualification I look for is that I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be something that inspires my child and just like have the artwork be really pretty. So those are the two things I look for when I have like a Montessori aligned book. So the very first book I want to show you is called Yoga Bear. So this is about a little kid doing yoga. They have different animals and then all of the different yoga poses that go along with it. It's a perfect book to read with my son before going to bed um, because we're able to stretch and be able to calm down, do some yoga, and it is a lot of fun. The second book I have is called Mix It Up. So this is a beautiful book with lots of different colors. It teaches kids all about the different colors that they're going to find, and it especially teaches them about red, blue, and yellow, and the primary colors, and what happens when you <clears throat> mix up, ooh, this is a floppy one, mix up all the different colors. Uh, it's a great art book and it teaches them a lot about colors. The next one I have is, I feel like a Montessori classic. You're going to find this basically in every single like Montessori nursery, uh, but it's just babies from all over the world. And my one-year-old still loves to like look at these pictures and point out the different babies. Um, and I love that it just shows all of the different kinds of people that there are out there because where you live, you might not have a ton of diversity. So I love to find books with diversity. Next is Snowy Day. So I feel like this is a classic because it is just gorgeous. So this is what I mean when the artwork is just beautiful. Like it's going to have your kids want, like wanting to read it and just like look at the gorgeous pages. And it's also based in reality because it's about a boy and his snow day. And if you don't have a lot of snow where you are, it's great to learn about snow. And if you do have a lot of snow, then it can be just very relatable for your kids. So this is a newer book that we got and it's called Worm Weather. So we actually got this from a neighbor who was just giving away a whole bunch of books. And I fell in love with the different pictures and it's simplicity. It's just so simple. My three-year-old basically has it memorized. I'll say the beginning of one of the sentences and he finishes it because they're two or three words long, but the pages are just so much fun to look at. And it's also so relatable because it rains a lot here in Florida. So we're able to just be, spend a lot of time in the rain. And my son loves to spend time in the rain and he loves this book. Right now it is a book we currently read every single night. The next book is also a book that we are currently reading every single night and is a really large one, but I love it. It's called Tractors and it's like part of a Things That Go series. So my three-year-old loves tractors and anything that goes cars, um, but this is like lots of fun because it's so big and I love it because it is again based in reality. It's just sharing a bunch of different tractors. Something else that my three-year-old loves about this book is that they have a hammer that you have to find on every single page and it's something that he can go through and really search and do and it's a very interactive part of the book. Next is aerospace engineering. So this is so fun because again my son loves vehicles and loves planes but he is able to learn about how planes work just like the very basics um, and about how rocket ships work and I love how colorful it is. I love how simple it is and we can just learn some basic science about aerospace and he loves it. All right, next is another very classic Montessori book, and this is called Making Faces. This one is great for kids who are learning about emotion and are very interested in emotions. I love all of the different types of kids that they have and all of the different emotions. It's so fun. And then I love the last page is a mirror. So I love that as well. And my three-year-old, I feel like this is a little bit too young for him. And my one-year-old, though... <laughs> But my one-year-old is really enjoying looking at all the baby faces and soon he's probably going to learn a little bit more about emotions and what they mean and how you can see an emotion on someone's face. So this is a book that I feel like my son hasn't gotten quite into yet, but I'm really excited for him to get into it and it's called I Can Do Hard Things. So, and it is just all about diversity, about being kind, about being able to do hard things and overcome the different challenges that we may face on an everyday basis. This is obviously very much based in reality and 
has beautiful pictures in it and shows a lot of diversity, which I love. So this is a great book and I'm probably going to put it into my kids' rotation. I rotate his books and I have like a lot of books. So I always make sure to have some books that are Montessori aligned and then other books that are just kind of for fun, you know? If you wanna see like uh, my favorite just for fun books, I can do a video with that as well. But my very last book is something that's a little bit more special and unique, um, but it's a book I feel like all your kids should be able to have, but it's gonna be more effort for you because you have to make it. And that is a book about them or a book about your family. So this is from um, Shutterfly and I made this for Oak's first year of his life. And in it is just a whole bunch of pictures of Oak when he was a baby, you know, and me holding him, his birth story, him eating, you know, it just goes through his life, right? And his first birthday. So I think it's just like so important to have a book that they can go through and see pictures of themselves and their families. And like, I mean, you can't get much more based in reality than that because it's literally them. Uh, and I just think it's so cute to go back through and look at these pictures. And there's like a bunch of different ways you can do this now. I've never done chat books, but I've heard of them. Um, I use Shutterfly a lot, I don't know. There's like tons of different options, but I just love having a book about them. And that is it, you guys. Those are my 10 very basic, lots of fun books that are Montessori aligned, that are based in reality, have some beautiful pictures. If you have a favorite Montessori book, let me know down below. I would love to pick it up and read it because we are always looking for some good book recommendations. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe so you can see more. And I'll see you later. Bye.